Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for a Quick Tips video. In this video, we're going to talk about using copy in Timeline. You can use the copy function in Timeline to copy triggers you already recorded with a live record or manually created. It needs to be handy to repeat triggers multiple times through your timeline. Steps to copy triggers. Press the copy key. Select the triggers you want to copy. Change the pan tool, the hand icon. Scrub to where you want to place the copy triggers. Click on the point you want them. So let's take a look at that. Here I am, a version 15.1 of Titan on the Titan Go interface. And see here, I've got a timeline up with some triggers in it already. So if I say I wanted to copy all of these triggers here, I can simply press copy, drag select across all the ones that I want, and click on my pan tool, or I can use my scroll wheel if I was using a mouse, and we'll pan to where we want them, say that we want them to be right here on 50 seconds. So we can just click there to bring our cursor up, and then click exactly there where we want them, boom, and we can see that it copy them all there. You could also do it with just a one or two on triggers that are of faders. Just, hey, I want to do these ones here. So I'll go ahead and hit copy again. Change back to my select tool. Select the ones that I want. And then scroll over to where I want them. And just click straight where I want them to go. Right, say here. And see that it copied them in for me. So that has been using copy in timeline. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Avalance US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.